Brother Mike, man of God on Fire for Christ. <clears throat> How y'all doing today? Um, just leaving y'all another video of what the Lord has put on my heart to speak to you guys. I want to talk to you guys about the time that we have left. You know, um, they have a plan. And their plan is to microchip all humans by 2017. That's what the New World Order plan is. Okay. They're trying to get Obama um, to, to do this. And it's all in play, man. It's all in play. Okay. Um, we have to quit playing with ourselves. We have to quit playing around. OK, this is what the Bible says. This is what Brother Mike Man of God says. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 through, through 18. OK. And he will cause all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. To receive the mark on their right hand or their forehead and that no man might buy or sell. Save he hath the mark or in his name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let let him who have understanding. OK. Count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is six hundred three score six. This is what the Bible says about. Um about president obama okay and daniel 11 21 and daniel 11 24 says he's gonna come in peace see obama isn't doing anything but trying to commit peace he's trying to make everybody peaceful oh it's okay to be gay i'm the president i'm gonna be peaceful to you oh it's okay iran you guys, are. You, I'm the president. There's going to be peace. He comes into peace. He comes into power through peace. Okay. Then Daniel 7, 20 says he's, he's going to have a stout voice. That means it's going to be his way or the highway. Okay. And then Daniel 7, 25, he's going to be a minister of change. That was Obama's logo to his presidency, a change. He's changing the laws, you know? It says he's gonna change in, in Daniel 7, 25, he's gonna be a minister of change and, he, and of laws and times. How are you, how do you say you're a Christian, but yet you support gay marriage and that you going against Israel? No other president in the history of the United States has ever went against Israel. We've always been Israel ally. Always. And that's why God has blessed this country, because we've always Israel is the apple of God's eye. And we've always been on Israel's side. Not anymore. Not anymore. Because of what Obama's doing. And I'm telling y'all. Christians, especially black African Americans that's watching this video, is set up for the New World Order. They're killing black people all over the United States. Okay, just Google it. Police who supposed to serve and protect are killing black people all over the United States. They just killed a girl in Texas. Okay. Pulled her over for not turning a turn signal, for, for improper use of a turn signal. Bashed her head in the ground. She said, I can't hear, I can't hear, I can't hear. Slammed her in a police car. And then she died in the jail cell. They said she, she, she um, suffocated herself. She's from my hometown, Chicago. Now do you see what the devil is trying to do? He's trying to start a racial war. And I'm telling you, whether you're black, white, Chinese, it's going to trickle down to all of us. Okay? Me and my wife was talking, and 
you know, I want to read to you guys, um, Peter, second, first Peter. Okay. Um, it's just so important what I'm about to read because it's exactly what we're going through. Okay. And just bear with me because, um, we just have to, you know, it's just what we're going through. You know, it is a, it is so much, um, it's so much pressure that we're going through right now. And it's a reason why we're going through. And then my wife was like, you know what? We are suffering down here because Christ suffered. And she said, and if Christ suffered, we can either suffer down here on earth uh, on this earth or we can suffer in the tribulation or we can suffer on hell in hell and i said baby you absolutely right you absolutely right because if jesus suffered and it says right here in first peter 4 for for as for as much then as Christ hath suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself likewise with the same mind, for he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin, that he should no longer live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lusts of man, but to the will of God. Okay? So take your pick. Take your pick, man. Do you want to suffer down here? You know, do you want to suffer down here being ridiculed, being talked about, you know, not having much? You might not have much because I don't have much. I don't have a car right now. I don't have that many clothes. I don't have a lot of things that a lot of other people have. But guess what? I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed, you know. I would rather suffer down here than to suffer in the tribulation where they're not going to have no sleep, no rest, you know, being hunted down, demons upon the earth, chasing people, trying to make people get the mark of the beast, trying to make people denounce our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. God's wrath pouring down upon this world. And you haven't seen no wrath until you've seen the wrath of God. Okay. Or you can go to hell and I don't even want to talk about the suffering down there because you can be in hell for 80 billion years and be suffering day and night, all day and night. Demons just torturing you and, and not to mention that, but the heat down there. You know, so if we got to suffer right here, count it as count it as glory. You know, count it as glory, because I would rather suffer right now and be raptured up, you know. than to suffer in the tribulation or to suffer in hell, y'all. It's not a game. It's not a joke. What these police are doing, what these man, the trip, I mean, the tribulation is so close. And that means that the rapture is even closer. Y'all don't y'all see what the police is doing. Don't y'all see what's going around. Why these Walmarts are closing down. And what is Walmart really? What do Walmart really mean? Look at the name. Walmart. Martial law. They nothing but basis for martial law. That's why they closing down. Okay? They're getting ready, y'all. Are you ready? Are you ready to meet your Lord? Are you ready to suffer a little bit? Everybody's Everybody wants to hurry up and get raptured out of here. Look, it might be a little suffering, you know, before we go. But guess what? God is with us. Okay? He's with us. And if we suffer for Jesus Christ, Remember, we will also be glorified with him. You know, 
And when my wife said that, I knew that was God talking directly to through me. That was God talking directly to me through my wife. And I knew I had to make a video about that. So take your pick. Do you want to suffer now? You know, before the rapture, which is what we're going through now. Do you want to suffer in the tribulation? Having to get your head cut off for the Lord? Because that's that's what it's going to boil down to. It's going to boil down to you getting your head chopped off. You running around for years. If you, if you do even make it to when Jesus comes back in seven years. Okay? And my 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 thing is that I don't know who's gonna make that. Who can who can who can make it for seven years without going to the store, being able to buy something? Because you're not gonna be able to buy a sale without the mark. You're not gonna be able to travel without the mark. You're not gonna be able to drink anything without the mark. Can you imagine what kind of life that's gonna be for the tribulation saints? You don't want to be a tribulation saint. You don't want to be that. And I know it's going to be some tribulation saints that's going to love God and God is going to lead them. And they're going to, you know, they're, they're not going to renounce the Lord. They're going to stand strong. But is that really what you want? Do you want to be left behind? And then for some of your, those who watch my video that don't even believe in God, do you do, do, do is it going to have to take you to go to hell? To realize that there's a God because even the devil believed that there's a God. It says it in the Bible. Even the devil believes and, and, and shakes. You know, God bless y'all, man. We got to pray. Pray. And if you're a black man or a black woman, you got to plead the blood of Jesus because this is a full-blown attack. We don't know what the government is telling these police officers they can be saying hey you know what you've been chosen and um we're gonna put five million dollars in your bank account all you have to do is go out and kill some go out and kill some black people go out and kill a black guy we're gonna put a we're gonna put a five million dollars in your account okay just do it you're not gonna go to jail we control the jail system. We control the government. We control everything. They agree to it. $5 million in their account. They see it. Now all they have to do is go do it. And then when they try to, when the money is in their account, they probably tell them, look, you got the money in your account. You can't look back now. If you don't do it, guess what? We know where your family live. We know where your son goes to school and your daughter goes to school. If you mess us around, we're going to kill your family. So you better do this. You have the money. You agreed to it. You better carry it out. We don't know what they're telling these police officers. Because it's, it, it's a shame that they're just cold-bloodedly just killing people. And I'm, I'm telling you, they want to start a racial war so they can lock down the cities, lock down the states. So be prayed up because you never know if you are that person that they stop, if you are the next victim. So be prayed up. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And it's not only that. You know, if, if that doesn't work, they're going to go to plan B. They might make black start killing whites. So all the white people that's watching this, hey, look, it's going it's, it's to get bad out here, y'all. We know it. We got to get prayed up. OK. Money make people do some evil things out here, y'all. We don't know what the government got prepared to do, but they the devil will have people doing anything for money. You know, wives killing their husbands, husband killing their wives. Money will make people do some crazy things, y'all. Be prayed up. Love God, because you never know the day you step out that door. It might be the last day you ever see this world again. You don't know when you're going to die, okay? Tomorrow's not guaranteed to me or whoever's listening to this video. We have to be right with God. We got to be prayed up. We got to repent every day, y'all. This is Brother Mike, man of God. I love you guys so much. Until the next video, 
if God permit me, whether I'll see you with another video or I'll see you in a rapture, y'all, we have to pray for our police officers around the world that God's Holy Spirit be upon them, that they do not do what this new world order want them to do, y'all. And we got to pray for all the loved ones that's lost family members. Each week, somebody is dying from the hands of the police, y'all.